Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Full Damage. Um, today I just want to clarify a couple of things about through and fireplaces. Um, a lot of you have been suggesting in comments, personal messages and videos, which is all great, I read and watch them all, um, that projectiles from a dispenser can go through a block. Um, I just want to clarify a couple of things about the fireplaces and about through. Um, it may seem nitpicky at first, um, but hopefully I can help you to get a better understanding of how it works and um, make the Minecraft community that bit more smarter. Um, now, while uh, what I want to say first is that um, the Oxford English Dictionary definition of through um, means that um, from one end or side of a block to the other or not a block, one end or side of something to the other end or side. Um, so through this block would be from this side here to this side here. It wouldn't be say from here to just somewhere in it, that would be into the block. Um, so if say a dispenser had this on it, uh, through would be from here all the way out and then carry on virtually unhindered into a final destination over there. Um, now that is not the case which I will prove to you now. Um, so we have a dispenser here with nine arrows in it. Now I want to also say that I know fire charges can stack and I know they can stack up to 64. I only happen to have 16 before you mentioned that. And I also know arrows can stack as well. I know they can stack up to 64. The reason that I've done it like this and the same, what, same reason why I did do it and will do it with the fire charges is so it can be easily visualized, visualized how many are fired. Um, it's easier to see that one's missing from a selection of nine than it is to see that one number has changed by a digit downwards. Um, now then, we fire the dispenser, it's pointed at this wall, nine arrows in it like you've just seen. The arrow goes into the wall like expected, we've got 20 arrows in our inventory which I just pointed to at the screen like you can see it. Um, there you go, 20 arrows. And we pick up the arrow, and we've got 21 arrows, and as you would expect, there is one less arrow in there. We'll put that back. So, we put the blocks over the front of the dispenser. The reason I've done it like that is that there's no possible way that an arrow can get out of this dispenser in a forward direction. It could get out the side, but there is no, um, or there is not much of a random amount via the sides. There is more of a random amount via the up and down. Um, that is the direction of the arrow so that's why there's blocks there um, so we fire it again now as you can see there is no arrow over there sometimes in SMP there is an arrow over there um, as far as I'm aware it's just an SMP glitch SMP being SMP um, and in fact you can't see an arrow at all on any side of this block or any visible side of this block we open it up there is one missing um, you can see the arrow up there actually and we collect it and we've got 21 so the arrow has been stopped in this block somewhere I can prove that it's in that block and not in that block by firing it and you can see it's over there however we can't pick it up from there that's that SMP glitch I was talking about if you watch the arrow from over there break of that block the arrow moves which indicates that it is definitely in that block because it's effective when that block is removed so then with fire charges now a lot of your concepts with fire charges have been based on or all of them in fact as far as I'm aware um, all of them that I've seen in the videos I don't sure about how you um, were thinking in the comments we're based on a block here and a netherrack here, um, which is a sound concept. Um, that is actually what happens. I don't want that there at this moment. Um, I just want to clarify, like I said, the through nature. So we've got a piece of netherrack there. Um, we've got a dispenser with fire charges there. Now, fire dispenser, as you would expect, that block lights up and all is normal and happy in the Minecraft world. Now, if it went through, even if we had blocks 
there, it would still light up, but it doesn't. Just to show you that one has fired, we've got eight in there now. Fire that again. That block didn't light up. One has definitely fired because we've got one missing. But nothing has happened over there. Now, the question is what happens at nether wreck? Now, with the arrow, it is in this block somewhere. We've learned that from before. So, if we just surround this with netherrack, and in fact, I'm going to change from my plan quickly. I'm also going to put netherrack uh, here, because um, someone suggested that if netherrack was on the same level as the dispenser, it would light. Something I haven't actually test. Uh, it is something I did a test actually, um, and you'll see the results in a second. So we've got seven in there at the moment. We fire. Now you can see that this one has lit. This one hasn't. This one hasn't, and the one that's on the same level as the dispenser also hasn't, um, which indicates to me at least that the fire charge explodes somewhere in this general area which is only enough to affect this block and not these blocks on the side or this block on the top um, that is what a lot of your concepts were um, and while that is sound I just like I said I wanted to clarify um, the through aspect of a fire charge um, and I also want to thank you for um, bringing that to my attention because um, it's not something I actually thought of when I was initially uh, building the fireplaces. Um, so thank you guys very much for for making me aware of that at least. Um, as far as I understood, it was a a bug that got fixed, um, and it wouldn't happen at all. Um, and I should have really picked it up when I watched the. Um, Good splash potion prank on pause, or the good and beetle blow splash potion prank on pause. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't. Um, and like I said, thank you guys for indicating that to me or pointing that out to me. So, the other stuff I want to um, touch on in this episode is just some updates around the castle. Um, you see, I've still got a load of splash potions here. Or potions, they're not splash potions yet. But I've been working on some of the um, corridors at the moment. Um, you can see we've got kind of a, a reflective cobblestone pattern going on here. Um, I've also changed these upper ones with the inclusion of upside down half step, uh, upside down steps even, um, to match this frame better. Um, I think that looks quite nice. Um, this area here um, was originally. Oh, hello was originally going to be just a ceiling but now there's going to be a balcony here um, in order for me to sit this kneeling statue in um, which is missing the top of its head at the moment it will get that back um, I've finished the corridor up to about here I haven't really done anything out in this courtyard yet um, I'll run around here the other well there's two other massive changes really um, so we'll just go out here quickly um, I've got the flooring, um, the seating and the tables done in this area. Um, I need to get some wooden half steps under there. Um, and I also need to figure out a way of lighting this. If any of you guys know how to make a floating torch or at least um, some sort of invisible block that a torch can go on, um, then I would love to know. Um, I may do it with floating lamps. Um, the thing is, you have to have like a switch on the top, which becomes visible. Um, if anybody can work out how to light a a floating lamp without making the lighting mechanism visible, then by all means, uh, be my guest and let me know. The problem with that also is you have to have them quite low, um, which is why I would prefer torches. Um, the only other lighting I could think of is having um, a glass roof instead of this roof, um, which, well, it would look kind of crappy, in my opinion. It's what I had on the old um, uh, castle, and I wasn't really happy with it, in all honesty. Um, 
But apart from that, I really don't know how to light this area. If any of you have any suggestions, then I would love to hear it because I honestly have no idea at this point. Um, so that's one of the major changes. There's also going to be a table over there, which I haven't included yet. Um, but that's that. These doors, they still look like crap, so just ignore their existence. Um, and the last change is... Oh, I also changed this as well. Um, I haven't got the circles in yet. I've decided I'm probably going to do them in wool. Oh, that's the other thing I haven't shown you as well. Another change. Um, the reason I'm going to do them in wool is because it will be a consistent texture. Um, the colour will change, but the the sort of texture will um, say the same. There will also be the noise when you're walking across it would also say stay the same. Um, let's run down this way. Got a couple of offices which I finished here, uh, which look out on the courtyard. Let me put the view distance up quickly. Shouldn't lag me too much. It was just for a second. Um, there's also that bridge there, which is crap. I hate. I hate it. I think I'm gonna put brick on the roof instead and see how that looks. But I don't know. It's just. Yeah, it's just a horrible, horrible roof. Um, that's that courtyard out there with the funky teeth looking wall um, and the edge of the clock tower just there um, and these are just meant to be kind of um, just offices for administration purposes I think um, got chests and wardrobes and desks and a plant um, the other ones just through that wall, which I'll show in a second. Uh, the rugs, the colours were chosen by my girlfriend. Um, I think they fit very well with the uh, castle theme of just quirky teachers. Um, in Harry Potter, a lot of the teachers are quite quirky. Um, and I like the rugs for that um, feeling. Um, there are going to be some serious teachers who will have just like black rooms with black rugs and machetes and stuff. Um, again there's this rug here which she also chose the colour of. Um, you can see more of the clock tower here. And desk, shelf, chest, wardrobe, plant and a little writing desk which just looks out onto the courtyard which I think is quite cool. Um, so that's those. Let me change the render distance back down because it's getting a bit laggy. Um, now the last major change is down this way. Hey, don't be doing that. Uh, let's go this way. Thought I saw a flaming enderman. Um, but there just wouldn't be one. Uh, so the last major change is this monstrosity. Um, I've been digging this down for weeks. Um, it's going to be a, a canyon. Um, right from the very beginning I wanted a canyon at the back of my castle which is one of the reasons why I chose the location with the river. Because um, the river could easily be turned into the canyon which it has been. So this is actually the width of the river and then I've just dug it straight down. Um, it is a little, a little, a little wide, um, wider than I would like it to be, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of all this dirt layer here, um, and then there'll just be a, a big old waterfall down into a, a lake or something down at the bottom of the ravine. Um, but yeah, that's just giving me more stone than I could ever use in a lifetime, uh, which is good. Um, and that's it for changes really um, in the castle um, I think I'm probably going to end the episode here episode 99 um, which is very close to episode 100 um, which is going to be my last episode no it's not I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do for episode 100 um, I kind of want to do something special but I can't really think of anything special to do um, um, yeah so so watch out for episode 100 being just a normal episode um 
as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for all your comments, your video responses, your personal messages, everything like that. Um, I read, watch them all. Um, I may not reply to them all, um, but I do my best with the time I have free in my life. Um, but as always, just thank you very much for watching and and being involved in the in the building of this castle um, in the ways that you can be. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much.